Right. It's raining pretty heavy. We'll put on my big jacket. Nah. I'll wear two thin coats. What's up guys, Rab here from Rabtastic Paints. Now, if you've been watching my channel over the last month or so, you'll have noticed I've been making a lot of content about the Middle Earth strategy battle game. The reason for that is I'm totally hooked with the game. It is fun to play, it's easy to play. That I love the models because I'm a huge fan of the books and films. Not only that, the community have been great as well. I've met a bunch of people already that have just been fantastic to me and taught me a lot and really helped me with not just what to buy but also making content for it as well so it's been great everyone's been lovely um, the next stage for me is to build an army or two because I have the Battle of Askele starter set which has the makings of a Gondor sorry like a Minas Tirith and a Mordor army in it so the next step for me logically is to build armies for those two forces the plan is to maybe enter a tournament before the end of the year but definitely to get some games Otherwise, it's going to be a huge waste of money. But yeah, so get some games once I've built an army, then we'll see about entering a tournament before the end of the year, uh, depending on um, availability and, and how much fun I actually have playing it. So, first, probably we could do the Minas Tariff Army because I've got a lot of models um, and I've got some more on the way at the end of the month as well. In order to do that, I'm going to need a way to paint up a lot of the Warriors of Minas Tariff minis. So, this video today is showing you how I'm going to do it because there's a lot of them and they're quite fun to paint. To get these models started, we're going to prime them. Now, these models are about 90% armour, so I've chosen to use Gunmetal Spray Primer from the Army Painter. And honestly, you could probably just spray this, give them all a wash and all now, and call them done. This primer is fantastic for these models. The first colour we're going to use is Abaddon Black, which we're going to use for all of the fabric. So the skirt, the trousers, make sure we get the backs of the legs and the shoes, and under the arms, so under the armpits, there's some fabric showing as well. You can also colour his hair in if you want to give him black hair. Just make sure to use two thin coats to cover all this metal paint. And of course we're going to use the black to paint the front of the shield that most of these warriors are carrying. Now this is where you really need to pay attention and thin your paints. If you use thick paint here, you're just going to glob up all the details on the shield and you're going to ruin it. So take your time, thin your paints well, and if you need to take three or four coats to do it, that's fine. As long as you can still see the tree underneath the shield, you'll be fine. And once you're finished, it should look like this. Solid black on top of the silver. You shouldn't see any of the silver underneath. Like I said, take your time, get some thin coats down. For the flesh, I'm going to use Bugman's Glow. But of course you can use whatever colour you want, as long as you've got a highlight colour for it. There's not a lot of flesh showing on this model, which is just as well because I find it very difficult to paint flesh. So, a little bit of Bugman's Glow in amongst the face shield, just to cover his face. Next up we're going to use Rhinox Hide and we're going to use this for all of the leather parts to the mini. Now there's quite a few and most of them are very small and fiddly so you need to take your time and make sure you get them properly. There's the belts around the waist, uh, the scabbard for the sword and the straps at the back of his sort of shin guards that hold his leg armour on. Now we're going to use some gold to break up all of the silver on the model and we're going to use Retributor Armour. We're going to use this to paint the cross guard and the pommel of the sword as well as some bits of the scabbard and the belt buckle on the front of the mini. Like I said, just to break up all the silver. Now that we've blocked in all of the base colours, it's time to add some washes. The first one we're going to use is right on the flesh shade, which we're going to use for the flesh. So we're going to paint the flesh of the face, as well as the leather straps going around his waist and his sword scabbard as well. We're going to use the right on the flesh shade to give it a sort of warm colour, rather than using a non oil for that as well. In 
and then we apply non-oil to the rest of the model getting over all of the metallics taking care not to get on any of the flesh or the leather areas where we've already applied right on flesh shade. After this we just let the models dry and you know what that means? It's time for my weekly please subscribe to me request. Now that the model is completely dried we're going to start highlighting it and adding some finishing touches. Firstly we're going to dry brush some Stormhole Silver onto any of the Iron Armour and Sword just to give it a little bit of a shine and go over that dullness caused by the non oil. And now we're going to use that same dry brush technique and that same Stormhole Silver to bring back out the details of the shield that we covered up in black earlier. Make sure there's not too much paint on your brush, give it a few strokes along your finger just to make sure not too much is coming off and then gently go back and forth across the shield highlighting all of those raised edges of the tree. And if you do make any mistakes or you do leave some silver streaks across the shield, don't worry about it at all, just go back in with some of that watered down a bad and black. And then we're going to use a brush and that Stormhole Silver just to pick out those bolts on the shield as well as some of the high points of the armour and the edge of the sword as well. Now we're going to highlight all of the black areas and to do that we're going to use Storm Vermin Fur. We're going to highlight the raised areas of the skirt or the kilt, I don't know what it is he's wearing, um, the thing he's got around his waist. We're going to highlight the raised areas of that as well as the bottom just to give it a little bit of depth rather than just plain black. We're going to highlight the gloves as well, so knuckles and fingertips on the gloves. Next up we're going to use Kizle Flesh and we're using that for the part that I am dreading the most highlighting the face. I know everyone says face and bases are the most important part of a mini but I am just terrible at highlighting faces so I'm just going to go in a little bit highlight the cheeks and the lips and I'm going to call it done. I'm not doing eyes I'm not even going to attempt it. And finally our last highlight is going to be Doom Bull Brown and we're going to use this to highlight all of the leather areas of the mini. So the straps and belts going across the waist as well as a scabbard for the sword will all get a little bit of an edge highlight with this Doom Bull Brown. It's as easy as that. All you need to do now is base all of your miniatures and sit back and admire them. With that, Osgiliath is almost complete. But which army should I build first, Mordor or Minas Tirith? Let me know in the comments and as always, take care.